Hi, my name is Hannah Dorn from your favorite communicating and consultants company. Today we are going to go to Qdoba and see how they're handling the COVID-19 pandemic. CDC has made many regulations of what restaurants can and cannot do during this time. So let's head on over to the Qdoba on Union and Alameda and see how they're doing. Welcome back. As you can see, we have made it to Qdoba. We're out here. We're going to see what they have inside. We're going to see all the CDC regulations that they've set in place. Let's go check it out. As you can see, we are outside on the back patio. They have not put any chairs out so people can follow the social distancing guidelines as to stay six feet apart and to not eat out at restaurants and just to go home and to be safe. We are at the front of the restaurant. As you can see, they have big signs saying that we are open and that they are doing curbside pickups. For curbside pickups, all you have to do is you can order on the app, you can order online, or you can call ahead. They are still, however, letting people go into the store, but you just have to stay six feet apart. Not only can you order on the app or order online, you can also order through apps like DoorDash or Grubhub or similar to that. Uber Eats is one of our partnerships here at Kidoba, as you can see with this sign. Okay, now we found someone that had just ordered from Kidoba, and we're going to ask them about their experience through ordering through a coronavirus time. Hi, so what's your name? My name's Morgan. Nice to meet you. I'm Hannah. So how do you, how do you think that Kidoba has done in communicating to their shareholders? I think they've done a really good job. I work for DoorDash and there's been a lot of people who've ordered through the app DoorDash for food here. So a lot of people aren't going out, so I'm one of the people who deliver the food. I also, when I go get food at Qdoba, I order through the online app myself or I do curbside pickup. So I think they're doing a very good job. That's very great. Thank you for being an essential worker during this time. Since you came to Qdoba today, do you think that ordering online is easier or do you think that ordering on the app is easier? I would say ordering on the app because then I can customize it how I want and then when I get here I can just call them when I arrive and they bring the food out to my car. So I really enjoy that. That's great. Thank you Qdoba for doing your part to keep us safe and to keep the community safe. I think Qdoba is doing a great job of letting shareholders and customers know that they are still open. As you can see right here we have a big sign saying now open and they have signs lining the medians out there. Here you can see inside where they have no chairs set up similar to outside. And here is where the Uber Eats or Postmates picks up the food to deliver to customers. That last clip you saw is very important. The red line on the ground with the X's indicates where each person that is coming in through Postmates or Uber Eats and they're supposed to stay six feet apart. This is very important because Kidoba wants to keep everyone safe, even including the essential workers. Since March 16th, Kidoba has implemented a limited contact ordering and pickup where they will either bring you your food out to your car or you can simply walk in and get it. Let's move on to how Kidoba is has been communicating through these times. In my opinion, Kidoba has done a great job of communicating with their shareholders and the customers and employees. They have been constantly posting on Twitter, on their social media, and holding various competitions that you can win money to go to their store. Not only can you find updates on their app, but you can also go to their website, www.kidoba.com. There you will find continuous updates from the CEO of Kidoba and how they are handling their business. On the website, you will find a direct quote from Keith Goldberg, who is the CEO of Qdoba. Here he said, we pride ourselves on being a franchise of choice, and this means open lines of communication being responsive to what our franchise needs. Qdoba has also been tweeting consistently on their social media to remind the customers that they are in fact still open. They are also doing deals like $5 off your $25 order, and that can help a lot. They are also doing a contest where you post a picture of your meal on social media with the hashtag TheGreatAmericanTakeout, and you can win one of $250 gift cards to Kidoba. The timing of these contests are impeccable. 
the strategic marketers of Kidoba know that people are trying to save money during this time because a lot of Americans have been laid off from their jobs. However, Kidoba marketers know that at the slight chance of winning money, people will want to go save money so they will in fact buy from Kidoba. So basically, to conclude our fun today going to Kidoba, I just want to say that Kidoba is considered a fast casual restaurant instead of fast food. They are doing the best that they can to keep our community safe. They have done a great job of communicating to their shareholders and their customers and their employees. One of the best parts about Kidoba is that when you order any meal, you get the choice of free queso or guac on the side. So why don't you just go ahead and go order Kidoba so you get your free queso and guac. Thanks for going along on this journey with us today. I had fun. I hope you did. Well, Kidoba's not going anywhere, and neither are we. This is Hannah Dorn from your favorite communicating consultant company. Till next time, this is Hannah Dorn signing out. We have made it to Kidoba. We're... <laughs> There's something on my phone. And there is a cop standing behind us. Don't look suspicious. <laughs>